When you start to build a collection of designs, you'll find that the functions over here to the right are called advanced design selection tools. So what I'm gonna do is I've gone ahead and built, brought in a built-in design, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy it just one time. So we'll touch the duplicate feature, and now I'll have two of those. So I'm gonna move one to the side and one over here. Kind of move them apart. I'm gonna select this one. Let's go ahead and mirror image so we can flip that around. And remember you have a grid function in the preferences. So if you wanna get a grid on your screen, you can use those to get these lined up better and have the right distance and top and bottom match as you desire. So let's go ahead and bring in just one more element. Let's go ahead and bring in a monogram and we'll just bring in a single letter. We'll bring that into the center. So when we get here, if we want to push that, that'll put it into the center. Of course, that's not really a great position, but we can kind of move it down. So now we've built our little collection here. We've got a couple options. Let's say we need to kind of move this as a group uh, or select something. You know, sometimes when we get a design, they start to overlap the other designs, making them either hard to select or you have to, they're almost like layers and you have to move one layer to get a hold of the bottom layer. Well, and you don't want to move the upper layer. So here's the first thing that we're going to talk about. This function is called step through design. So this is how you can select your design. So as we touch one and touch the Next, it will highlight them in the order that they're going to sew. So until the one that's selected has a box around it, you can keep touching it. So if I need to move this to the side, nudge it a little bit, then I can do that to that design. If I need to touch the monogram, see how it doesn't want to really select, we can use this to get to the design you want. Okay, so that's all fine and good. I'm gonna deselect by touching outside the design areas. All right, nothing selected. So what if we just wanted to select all of them? That's what the next function is. So when we select all, you'll notice everything is selected. They're all noted and they're ready to move as a group. So what if I wanted to go ahead and just group the flowers together? So I could then maybe bring in different letters at a time. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna select one flower. Notice it turns red, and if I want to select another one, I can use the third function down. Add and remove selections. Select and deselect the marked design. So let's go ahead, that's selected. So if I go ahead and select my other flower, oh, I would need to, let me back up. Select this, touch the function, kind of puts a dotted box around it, meaning it's got a hold of it. Now what else do you want? Touch the other flower. Now this box is red, but this one I would call either dark blue or black, you decide, but it's kind of dotted. So it hasn't been selected yet, because right now if I move it, I only get the moving of the flower that is in the red box. So I do need to touch that selection again. Now both boxes are red, and watch, they will move together. But since the S is not selected, it's not part of the group. Speaking of group, that is what the last function is, where we can take a part of our designs and group it. Notice that now we have a box around all the, the both the designs we have selected. So once again, they'll handle as a group, they'll select as a group, and you have the option later to ungroup them. So you're not totally locked into where you want it. But we can still go ahead and select the letter. Now notice when I touch the letter, this box is kind of in front of the letter. So that's where this one will come in, where you can reorder the design. So I can almost send that to the back, and now technically the S is on top and it's easier to select. Once again, to select the S, I could have also used the very first one. So go between flowers and the letter. So super easy to kind of work. But I will tell you, it takes me, if I don't use this a lot, it takes me some time to kind of remember which ones do what. So use the question mark to remind yourself how those are used. And then for example, when the next time you get a bunch of designs on your screen, how you can select them, uh, select all of them, select a portion of them, or group them together, or even reorder how they're going to stitch out. So really nice at your fingertips, but like I said, I tell you, you almost have to use them often or refresh before you can use them if you don't use them very often. So have fun, try these out, play with them just like I showed you, and these will become more natural the more you use them.